everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a mukbang, a Chick-fil-A mukbang. And we're going to be talking about school. And I know that seems boring, but it's like, why is such a necessity to go to school nowadays? When people come out of college not knowing what the hell they want to do and it just it's so mind-boggling because I just don't understand how one parents really put like, especially foreign parents they really put the stigma in your head you have to go to school or else Basically, you're not going to amount to anything. And it's crazy to me. Because that's so false. <laughs> but it's a certain stigma. I'm sorry. That we have put in our children's minds to think that, you know, basically, they can't do anything without a degree, a bachelor's degree. And don't get me wrong. Most of uh, well-paying jobs require a bachelor's degree. There's no getting out of not having a bachelor's degree. But my thing is... It just gets you that job, you know? And I feel like parents encourage their kids because they want them to be, they, they encourage their kids to go to school and get a degree because they want them to be stable and okay, which is totally understandable. I get that. But it's like, we want to accomplish dreams. We want to do the things that we actually want to do. And if you go to school and you find that you're lost and you really don't know what you're doing there, maybe school is not for you. Or maybe you just haven't found your niche. I tr Sometimes I feel like school is <clears throat> a scam. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because they get you to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on books and classes <sighs> to come out with a bachelor's degree to get a, a job but you're still not your own boss you're still not making money in your sleep and that's the goal to make money in your sleep and to earn money without really having to try because you built a either business, company, whatever. And they put this stigma as to if you get a bachelor's degree, you can accomplish the world. If you go to school, you can accomplish what you want. That is good. If you are the type of person that just wants a job and is okay with working with an working for another person, dream basically because that's what you're doing working for another person's dream then by all means go to school get the degree that you oh my god I still got my seatbelt on <laughs> you're in a field that you want to major in and get your degree I honestly do feel like college can is like a scam sometimes because if you're not really sure what you want to do one and you just go to college to get a degree you can end up in a job that's dead end too and really doesn't make you happy because we all know that money doesn't make you happy look at all the celebrities that overdose with billions of dollars obviously they weren't happy because happiness is only something you can pursue. It's never constant. You can only be 
only thing that can be constant is peace. And that's the goal. So if you want, if you know exactly what you want to do and you want to go to college for it, perfect. But the problem is they instill college in your brain when you're like, what, 14 years old? You don't, <clears throat> you don't even know what you want to do. You're 14. And even when you're about to graduate, I was 17 when I was graduating. I don't know what the hell I want to do. And as for my personal experience, I did go to community college for two years. I um, majored, I started off in criminal justice and for some reason it, it, it didn't interest me anymore because I don't know, I felt like the classes were too easy. Like the homework would be write down vocabulary words and turn them in every week. I'm like, what type? And then go to class for attendance. And then open book test. Oh There's no challenge. And some people say might say, oh, it's community college. Um, <laughs> but college is college, right? It's supposed to be challenging. And don't get me wrong, some classes were very challenging, like miscellaneous classes that I didn't even need, like Spanish 101. That was the hardest class I ever took in my life. I mean, <laughs> ugh, all the work and you're learning a different language, oh my goodness. Nothing like high school. But I'm like, where's the challenge? Then I went on to business administration because I told my mom I wasn't interested in criminal justice. She said, business administration is a great field, great field. She just kept saying, great field, great field. Because she just wanted me to be in college and graduate. But I felt it was pointless because... Why Why am I doing this if I'm not happy? If there's no end goal, the end goal is finding a good paying job, that's the end goal, I'm out. If that, I understand parents want the best for you, but you know what's best for you as you're, you're an individual that knows yourself better than everyone and anyone else. So you can only determine your future and what's best for you. I understand parents think, they, they have more wisdom. They have more wisdom. Not that they think. They have more wisdom and they have more life experience than you. So I get how they want you to do as they say. Because they think they know what's best for you. But in reality, you know what's best for you. And you know what's going to make you happy. For a while, I didn't know what I wanted. I mean, I wanted to be a lawyer, a prosecutor, and... That actually does still interest me. I always watch Law and Order um, shows and criminal investigation, forensic science, things like that. That always interests me. But then I have to look long term. Like, do I see myself doing this forever? Is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? That's scary to think about for any career field that you choose. And you, you just have to really start thinking about what you want, you know? And I realized I was living for my mother most of all, and not for me. And that's very important when choosing to go to college because at the end of the day, you are paying back those loans. You are paying for your school. So this is your decision. And if you're in a predicament where your parents want you to go to school and you not really sure about what you want to do or you just need some time alone then you take that time and figure out what you need to do because for my parents it was like if you're not in school you can't just work and then live with them you have to be in school working towards something or basically no other option <laughs> so I have my own place I'm currently trying to figure it all out. 
because I can't figure it out in my mom's house and I can't figure it out in my dad's house. I got to figure it out by myself, right? So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> One stupid boy told me I chew like a donkey. <laughs> Which is okay true. Because my, you know, my jaw moves like really wide. But that's okay. <laughs> I, just, I decided to change the landscape, by the way. And I apologize if this video is all over the place. I honestly just woke up and was like, I'm craving Chick-fil-A. And I don't feel bad about it. Because I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a while. Let alone fast food. So. That's good. And I'm just sit currently sitting in the car in a parking lot. And I decided to talk about what's on my mind. I also want to know if anybody can relate to me. Do you feel like school is a scam? Do you feel like school is not for everybody? Or do people just say that because they're lazy and they don't want to go to school? Or do you feel like the best outlet is being an entrepreneur and starting your own business so you won't have to work for anybody for the rest of your life? I want to know what you guys think. I'm very curious. So comment down below. Let me know if you're in school currently, how you're doing. If you knew exactly what you wanted to do out straight out of uh, high school. If you are, kudos to you. I wasn't one of those. <laughs> I'm a very indecisive person, period. So choosing one thing and sticking with it for four to six years wasn't the move. <laughs> so let me know if you, you knew exactly what you wanted to do outside of high school. Let me know if you're in school currently. Let me know if you're a college dropout like me. Let me know if you're a college dropout and going back to school. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in my next video coming soon like this video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.